Hello, hello, and welcome to What If Me and my friend here were in the MHA. You will be surprised at yes. what happens. <laughs> yeah, this is, is very chaotic. None of this is scripted. You will, Just know that. None of this is scripted. This is all off the top of our heads. <laughs> now to uh, get something yeah, out of the uh, way. Now to get something out of the way, let's explain ships and ages and exactly what I am. Well, if you look at the picture here, you can see I'm a fucking predator. <laughs> and taking the namesake, the predator named Ahab. Now Denzel here is a... Uh... Yeah, well, he just looks like this. He looks like how you're going to look... You look like how the your profile picture looks, right? What if? Yeah. Yeah, no, he looked like that. And I look like this. The picture that's being I'll shown. That and, uh, yeah. yeah, and the uh, female profile. predator that's at the bottom of the screen right, right now. Uh, and no, that's Ahab. That's my character's first wife. Yes, you heard me right. I said first wife. <laughs> There's more. Uh, the ships for me is Shade here, as death. Gender bent Rapa, Ryukyu, Esdeath. Did I already say Esdeath? <laughs> Wait, fuck. No, I need to recount this. Hold up. Shade. Yeah, you know, you, he looks like this. Ships for me are Shade, Ryukyu, Rapa, Gender bent Rapa, to be exact. Esdeath yeah. and Curious. Why? Because fuck you, predators are fucking. They are not monotonous. They are polygamous. <laughs> and he raised his completely human sons if all the same thing. And, uh. <laughs> this motherfucker right here, Denzel. Uh, let's just ignore his name for now. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh. He was adopted by me. <laughs> In story and in this di- and in the Discord that we're in, yeah. in reality we're more or less around the same age, around the same age enough to be uh, siblings. Same age range, like he's two years older than me. Yeah, there's not that much time between me and you. Although I am gonna turn seventeen in like a month, and I turn nineteen in two. Yeah, so yeah, Get on my level. <laughs> I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. Oh, anyway, anyway, let's start off with how Ahab came, Ahab came to adopt the horny boy known as Denzel. In yeah. simple terms, it's just abduction. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's just straight up abduction. I just wake up like, huh? Is this in the orphanage I was in? What the hell is this place? What the fuck are you? Essentially how that happened. Now, uh, I just kind of trained Denzel. His quirk, his dead ass is called weather manipulation, so he's basically Zeus. And I made like Zeus, so that makes sense. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> He's also the same age as a gender bent Tezuka Midoriya and a gender bent Katsuki Bakugo. Now, how the fuck. You are was... also part of it. Yeah, you. That, my they go with you. You know, they go with you. They don't go with me. I'm fucking. Jesus Christ. I'm old as shit. I'm old as shit. I'm 5,000 fucking years old. Now, for those of you who want to yeah. nitpick at the Predator's age, fuck you. My what if. Don't like it? Cry about it. Pretty now, much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I will say in every single one of my what ifs. Oh, yeah. I got a texting story coming soon. It's. Yeah. That's. Texting stories will be more for original characters that I come up with. And the ideas are, are that of a, of a Florida man's, aka a crackhead idea. 
So the yeah. The people that uh, his harem that I have are Bak- is female Bakugo and uh, female hey, Deku. Who else did you Mina. have? Mina. Yeah, and Hatsume. Hmm. Oh boy, you and got two crackheads. Oh boy, you got two absolute fucking crack. You have two absolute fucking crackheads for you. Because you also have. Uh, what was her name again? Uh, general description? The female predator. Oh, Shade? Yeah, no, she's yeah. with me. We also have Shade, so I also, also need to be a fifth girl just for it to be even. I got shade. You you get another one. Hold up. Uh, I'm a hold up. I'm gonna no, pause said, this. Real quick. Who is that? Okay, continued recording. Uh, this is another character that I just came up with out my ass. Uh, this is Shadow. A rather a younger predator that is joined in in joined in Ahab's cadre. They will get introduced later on. Don't worry about it. He's technically my first girlfriend and surrogate sister, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess. We're not going Alabama. We're not going Alabama. No, we don't do Alabama here. Shadow here is a... Shadow is Ahab's biological daughter with Shade. And Denzel so here was so fucking great. adopted. Sweet home, man. I will, I will hunt you down, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't test <laughs> me, boy. <laughs> I swear to God, whoever says this is Sweet Home Alabama, I want you to go look shit up and what Sweet Home Alabama really means. Sweet Home Alabama means yeah. keeping it in the family. Literally. Uh, it's like the that, stepsister tag on and the stepsister it's basically tag. It's, t- it's basically tag. stepsisters on Pornhub. Yeah. Think of their relationship as fucking whatever the fuck it was on Pornhub. <laughs> fuck, what was the whole line? <laughs> fucking thing. The things that you got in Pornhub, the fucking pages on Pornhub. That's basically, <laughs> that's basically Denzel's oh, and Shadows. Dakota Bridge Alucard. Dakota Bridge big... Alucard. Our relationship is described as tags on Pornhub. <laughs> Essentially, that's how, sh- that's basically Shadows and fucking Denzel's relationship. But I'm going I'm to oh. keep it, I'm going to keep it real with you. Shadow stepped up first. Because yeah. uh, the no, 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 no. the predator species are very uh how do I put this forward with uh how they are noted. So she was just like, "You are cute. You are now mine." Uh, like this guy's like, guy literally still a kid. He's like, huh? I'm like a after, <laughs> like, like before Denzel goes to UA, it's like. You're cute. You're now mine. I don't care what other people say. Also, I don't mind sharing. Are we like, like, what? Huh? That's basic, basically what was going through your head. What? Huh? What? Huh? No, what? I, I beg your pardon. What? Huh? <laughs> I beg your pardon. Excuse me. A. Are we like siblings? B. Not what? biologically. What? If she's not blood related, she's safe to be dated. <laughs> if he is not blood related, then he is safe to be dated. <laughs> the fu- huh? Okay, what kind of luck? I mean, right. then I would just appear. I was like, you know, she ain't wrong. On top of that, she's had the hearts for you for a while. Yeah, I know that. I'm not dead. Good. Not eight. I swear to God, I, if you took after your mother, I swear, it, nothing short of kissing your mother, swear to God, nothing short of kissing Shade on the lips was enough to tell her, yeah, I love you. <laughs> and then Shade would appear. What did you say? You heard me, woman? 
Well, I'm going to fly out now. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's going to fly out the window. And then I go flying out the window. I told you. And with shade just saying, I told you, don't call me dense. Am I wrong? <laughs> That would basically be the flying in the ship, and I'm literally doing that. <laughs> we are so. I told you, no saying how dense I am to our kids. And I told you, if they ask, I'm going to say. And I told you, if they get a relationship, I'm going to say it. Well, you're not wrong there. Exactly. Don't go throwing me through the ship no more. <laughs> Why not? Just to woman, have woman, to woman last time. Snaps. Like, and the response would just be, "Woman, last time you threw me through the ship, we broke. A, you broke a wall. What? Do you know how hard that was to fix? No. Good. I just follow my headphones. Like, what? Well, you you and Shadow are just standing there. Down. You and Shadow are just standing there, just like, yeah, this is this is normal. Everything's fine. I'm just listening to the whole time at this point. Yeah. At this point, it's just it, everyone in the house, everyone on the ship, which is currently landed on Earth, is just like, yeah, no, this family is very chaotic. This is normal. This man just puts on his headphones and he's just listening to Daddy Fast. It's like I just start listening to Daddy Fast on my headphones. That that ass. That's basically all you do. <laughs> all you do is listen to DPS and just wander around. And I mean, <laughs> no one complaining. I'm literally just listening to walk on DPS. There was a point. In, no, fuck it. There was a point in time when you were in the shower and you had your speaker, which is basically what I do. <laughs> and you were playing Daddy Fat Snaps, and me, the rest of the family was like, "What is this very good fucking music?" And then there. And we came to realize, oh, wait, it's Denzel. Oh, wait, he has really good fucking music. <laughs> and then after that, the rest of the family was just... Like, and then after that, the I family was just... Me. And then after that, the family was just like, you know what, this, this daddy fat snaps it makes really good music. This will, be yeah. the, this will be the regular music that happens in the house. And so it was. This man is just listening to, like, I'm just listening to Walk by Daddy Fast and all the time and walking through school. Yes. And because uh, Shade equals overprotective mother, she always makes sure Denzel gets to school without being disturbed. Like, there was, time, really there was a point in time. There was a point. Like there was a point. Like there was a point where uh, someone was going to attempt to kidnap Denzel, and she was like, "Nope, can't be having that," and just yoinked them. Like they they no longer existed. No one like, found them again. <laughs> it's like the net launcher got them, and then she was like. I'm just going to have a nice little talk with them. This person would be screaming their okay. lungs off. This person would be screaming their sure lungs off. Fine, yeah. This man's just like playing Bioshock on a Switch or something like, make sure, don't, make sure that no one else finds them. So, you know how you What happened what... last time? We already got a lawsuit. I know, I know. Don't worry. No one will find the body this time. There won't be a body to find at all. You're about to pull an the card and say, bitch, I eat people. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna head out. And the, the, I know a part of the times, don't eat people, but... You know, one of the times when <laughs> she had, had killed someone who was uh, looking at Denzel wrong, and she was just... Bro she kicked down the door in the ship to the fucking dining room was like, hey, kids want to see a dead body? <laughs> I see them on the concert. Oh. 
and then I'd just be shaking my head, just like, the year we talked about this, people can't be finding the bodies. And if they do, they gotta, they gotta be skinned. No simple stab wounds. Okay, okay. Fast, fast forward. Okay, fast forward time. It's now the last day of middle school in uh, My Hero Canon. Uh, so, yeah, no, no, I'm going to clear this out. Denzel goes to the same school as fucking Bakugo and and uh, on top of that, the relationship of Bakugo and Deku <laughs> is so, the relationship of Bakugo and Deku is more like sisters than the uh, bully and abuser, B abuser and abusee. Fuck. English it's is still a really hard language. Not language. Yeah, no, we're not having no evil Bakugo in this. Yeah, but. Uh, because I've on the down low, the two of them had feelings for... Yeah. But uh, on the down low, the two of them had feelings for each other. But were too damn scared to say it to each other. They're both closeted they bisexuals. There's one giga chat for some reason. They're both closeted bisexuals. Yeah. There. Yeah. Okay. okay Sorry again for the pause. Okay, continue. So, um, yeah, they they also had feelings for this Giga Chad, aka Denzel. Yeah. Yeah. They they both had feelings for Denzel as well as each other. And they did not know how to tell. They did not know how to tell. Because while... No, <laughs> because uh, while uh, they both had... While Bakugo was very loud and boisterous and up in your face. She was also a shy girl. She was also a shy girl. I was gonna say Sundere, but that works too. That yes, that <laughs> she's a mix of shy girl and Sundere. <laughs> One time, I fused lightning into a thumbtack and just yeeted it at a wall. It's not permanently stuck there, and smoke is still coming out of it till this day. Yes. Also, uh. I literally did that on the first day of school, by the way. How do I do... How do I say this? Mirko has uh, attempted to kill Ahab. <laughs> Emphasis on attempted. Yeah. Because... Yeah, he was just like... He's badass. He's badass. He was just like... He's bad. You are he weak. Him. He called her weak. <laughs> That's why... <laughs> Like, is there a fly or something? <laughs> like, he's just dead ass tanking everything. Why? Because why the fuck not? Five thousand years. What the fuck you thought? Also, this man's like my character. At least, like I can run faster than most people. Probably because I was raised on a ship's low gravity. Yes. I mean, my weight is naturally more than most people's. Yeah. There was also a point in time. There was also a fucking, you know, because fuck it, gravity chamber. Yeah. I haven't trained in that because I know I would die, yeah. but look how strong uh, I am. Like, I, I wouldn't survive in there for a second. You built up speed by training in gravity chamber. Yeah, then built up strength of a little speed. Yes. 
Like my leg muscles are straight up like you are you are, a, you are a lean motherfucker. You have a muscle, but it's but you also have a thighs. Yeah. Nowhere near close to Mirko, but we're up there. Yeah. I'm getting there. But uh <laughs> because of gravity. Yeah. In the higher gravity you would be like you're a normal person on Earth gravity. Zoom. Basically, the Flash. Because, yeah, much. because gravity. I could also fly, so I don't really normally do that. Yeah. You're like Raven from fucking DC. Like, you can walk, you can run, but you don't want me. But you're too damn lazy to do that, so you just float everywhere. Everybody yeah, much. <laughs> Jesus Christ, making my damn bed is hard. Because I gotta lift the bed and I gotta put the fitted sheet on. That's a pain in my ass. Yes, I'm making my I bed will make no what if. Fuck you. At one <laughs> Get point, on my level. At one point, someone was bullying female Deku. So I look at the guy, I plant my foot on the desk, and I look at him like. So you've chosen death. Do you like my boo? Oh, Jesus Christ, you're breaking up. Oh, no. Later. Keep talking. You're going to be looking at me. Huh? Oh, God, you broke up a bit. Someone was doing something with female Deku. What the fuck was going on? Hello? Oh, someone bullying female Deku, right? So I plant my boot, like I plant my my leg on my desk and start cleaning my boot. And I look at him like, hey, does my butt, do you like my boot? Um, looks nice. Why? Because if you keep talking, you're going to be licking it later. <laughs> you can't just say that. So they have a thing that he looks so fucking proud. <laughs> You can't just say that in the middle of a school. <laughs> Bakugo and Deku were just like, you can't just say that in fucking school. I just did. <laughs> well, I, mean, yes, not... I just did. <laughs> Bro, I don't need my cork. Meet me outside. I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm going to kick your ass literally. I mean, that's all I will do. I will walk, I will move behind you every time you try to hit me. And I will kick you in the ass. Try the bitch. Same guy. I said to to jump off a, like, um... The school roof so she can get a quirk in the future with the same guy. Yeah. Bruh, he, like, time skip, my shoe is covered in blood, and this man is licking his own blood off of my, off of my boot. Why? Because yes. Yeah, let's say as death, as death resonated with this kid. <laughs> yes. Yeah. For... How uh, as death is a thing. She is Rei Todoroki's sister, and she absolutely fucking hates Endeavor. And she also find has out this kid making him lick his boot. She just found also she has Toya. Also, she had, she she basically abducted Toya from the streets, and he now has a better life. Yeah. And he is the underground hero, Cerberus. Because fire. That makes sense. Because... Although I would have gone with Inferno, really, but Cerberus sounds cool too. 
Yeah. Call out to my hellhound deck and go fucking watch it. It's really damn good. It's fucking good. That's a bit. And... Okay, um... Yeah. At this point in time... Uh, fucking... Big Hab has, a uh, Shade. He got... As Death. He got... And uh, Ryukyu and Curious have eyes for him. Like seriously, Curious is is a uh, debating on whether or not to leave the Metal Liberation Army. Question: How did sh- how did Shadow react to her boyfriend literally making this guy lick the blood off of this man's boot? Impressive, most impressive. <laughs> I was gonna say she was most likely turned on. Oh, she was. She very much was. But, uh, was holding back. Like, a lot. For obvious reasons. Yes. Oh, inhuman. Yeah, after you cleaned all the blood, I just kick him in the mouth. Again, I'm like. That's, that's what happens when you get my drip started. At this bitch. point, at that point, as death had shown up and was just being proud of mama moments. Yeah. And then I was there in <laughs> shade. <laughs> and as well, I, I, the whole fam was there. And they're just like proud family moments. <laughs> yeah, it would be wiping a tear from his eye. They grow up so fast. <laughs> and then she... It's like, it was, it was only a week ago that we, abduct, that we abducted him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Essentially. And as death was just like, it feels almost like yesterday when I was training, how I was teaching him how to torture people. Wait, what? <laughs> Shadow would just be like, wait, what? That's not, that's not. <laughs> Does not explain how that went down. <laughs> like Shadow was just like, yeah, wait, what? <laughs> As the, like shade and sh- shade and they have were just like, well, that explains a lot. <laughs> Shadow was just like, you corrupted the beam. How dare you? <laughs> I was never a beam, bitch. <laughs> No, like, to her, <laughs> no, to her, you were a bead. You were adorable. <laughs> and my guy's yeah. just like, I just kick him in the stomach. Stay down. <laughs> and Shade was like, the weak point's on the head, sweetheart. Don't forget that. <laughs> Alright, hey, Ahab Death, wanna see something I learned from you? I just stomping on his head. Hugh <laughs> Ahab sipping a, sipping a thing of tea. Okay, I'm gonna go join him. <laughs> I think he's dead. Uh, I think so too. Uh, you know what? Uh, how y'all feeling for Red Lobster? Because. Shut the fuck up, Crunch. As death would just walk up, shut the fuck up, Crunch. And then he had no more balls. Yeah. Right, he even straight up became a woman at that moment. (laughs) It was a sex change, (laughs) not a beating. This went, this man went (laughs) from getting his ass beat to getting a sex change. Man, straight up group titties. No, man's straight up group titties. 
<laughs> like after the kick, man's straight up grew titties and got an ass. Man's hair grew to the length, grew down to his waist. Man's got an ass too. Man straight up turned into a whole woman, turned into a whole ass supermodel. <laughs> At that moment, he just went like, "That's my life, Nestle Crunch." <laughs> That's essentially oh, what happened. Beautiful. He turned into a man, went from a limp dick loser to a fucking supermodel in two seconds, and got the attitude of one as well. He got beat so bad he started to change gender. <laughs> no matter if you're gonna be so bad, he's trying to change gender. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Izuku, gender bend Izuku, who, fuck it, we're calling her Izumi because we don't have any original names out here. <laughs> I guess we're calling uh, Bakugo Katsumi, I guess. Katsumi Bakugo. Katsumi and Izumi were just laughing. Like, they were on the floor laughing. And Katsumi just makes it, Katsumi is basically a miniature Mitsuki. But is shy. Yeah. Like, she's basically virgin, the virgin version. Oh god, try saying that five times fast. She's the virgin, virgin, virgin. version. <laughs> she's the virgin version of Mitsuki Bakugo. He won't be a virgin for much longer, though. And because fuck it, I ship it. Masaru died, and meets now Mitsuki and Inko are dating. Fuck you, it's a perfect ship. Is everyone just dating siblings now? <laughs> uh, dating no, step-siblings it's, now? Yeah, they're now step-siblings. Makes the sister dynamic a lot more real. But they also have feelings for each other on the down low, but are too shy to say it because uh, they don't know if that would be considered sweet home Alabama. I just look at them like, bro, I'm literally dating my adopted sister. Like, they don't say that out loud. They're just like, what, huh? What, what if it's, huh? They, they straight up ask. They straight up ask. They, ask out they straight up ask Inko and Mitsuki. Uh, would us be, would us dating be considered a uh, incest? No. <laughs> like that. that was, like, right after they said incest, the, the word, the, they both just said no, instantly. I mean, shit. Look at Canon. Look at Canon Mitsuki and Inko. The two were basically sisters. I just, uh, I just look at the two, literally just, I just look at uh, Katsumi and Izumi just making it, I'm like, that's hot. Yeah. Also, uh, you cannot tell me that Masaru does not kind of act like Inko. You're not wrong. You, now you see why, now you see why Mitsuki's, Mitsuki married Masaru. That's basically male Inko. <laughs> Not, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, oh yeah. Um, things more th- the Ryukyu. Just fuck it. Just fuck you. Ryukyu and Miriko swap places on the hero board. Also, by the way, um, after. He's I mean, Mott, Mitz, and, and Katsumi just started making out. They just looked at me after I said it was hot, and, and just Izumi just started kissing me for some reason. Like, you know what? Fuck that. After they, after they got confirmation that they, they were, them dating would not be incest, it was a full-on fucking make-out session. Inko and Mitsuki yeah. would just and back out of the room. Inko and Mitsuki would just start backing out of the room. <laughs> it's like, and I just started leaving like, well, time to fly around the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm just, like, I'm just, I'm just trying to walk like, And because, fuck it, there was a window right there. 
and he just happened to fly by and was like, oh, that's hot. That is hot. <laughs> and just, they just hit a pole. <laughs> that oh. And that pole was dead ass right next door, right in front of their house. And My face was like an indented. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, you know Tom and Jerry and like Looney Tunes and that shit. Just, yeah, boom. pretty much. That's basically how you hit the pole. And then you fell down. <laughs> and then as Dips and Shade's mother senses were tingling, it was like, why do I feel like I need to bring down a pole? Eh, whatever. <laughs> and then they'd go back to cooking a really damn good meal. <laughs> like, it's a whole ass buffet. Like, and three quarters of it is cooked at home. The rest of it was just, like, stuff from, like, Red Lobster or Olive Garden. Or, like, really good restaurants that you'd go, that you went to as a kid. That are, that still slap to this day. It's basically that, plus home-cooked food. After Kasumi and Ethan just saw me just crash into a into a pole that said it was hot that they were making. Now, what did they do after that? <laughs> they, they're both... They just, are, like, dragged me into the house. They're basically the they're... living embodiment of a tomato. Like, they are beet red. Like, no, they're tomato red. Like, yeah. full body, like tomato red. Like, red. like, full body, tomato red. But they're redder than Kirishima's hair. Yes. And yeah, then they ask, him. and then after that, they kind of go outside. They're still, they're still as red as Kirishima's hair. <laughs> Keep that in mind. They're still that red, and just like, eh, 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 and they're studying. Over, they're just stuttering over all their words. It's like, hey, would you like to date us? That's exactly how they say it because they're shy as fuck. Uh, so you two had feelings for each other, and how's that feelings for me? Yes. And because, fuck it, they also thought... And let's not talk about that part. And, uh, because, fuck it, when they saw Shadow, they were also just kind of like, well, who knew aliens could be hot? She's fine with me dating other people. But... Eh, okay, that's nice. It was at this point in time where Ahab was in a fighting ring. Before fucking Rafa got recruited, not fucking flashback. Essentially, Ahab prevented Overhaul from taking Rafa. Using Rafa, to be more specific. Because, uh... Because fuck it, Aerie is gonna be adopted into the family. You can't fucking stop me. Rafa would be forced to track down where Aerie was, because this is the... I'm gonna say fuck it, she has escaped on multiple occasions. Ahab had managed to see one of these occasions, and Rapa was the one chasing her down. Now, Rapa is nice to Ari. He's like, it's okay, dear. We'll find a way for you to actually get out of there for good. But I have to take you back, or else it's both of our heads. Ahab would then come in. I'm sorry, did I hear that you two were being used in some way, shape, or form? Rapa would be in a defensive stance. I was like, eh, no, 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 no. I'm not here to fight y'all. 
Oh, but actually, he had to do the opposite. I'm here to help you. Why would you help us? What can you do? Well, for one thing, I know about this overhaul brat, and I've been looking for a way to get in. I mean, I know he's been chasing me. He sent people after me, and I've sent them back in multiple ways of dismemberment. Keeping the head, of course. No, no, I wouldn't even keep the head. Those motherfuckers are weak. Yeah, yeah, uh, Ehan's head is trophy. They weren't worthy. Yeah, they, they, I don't keep the heads of those that are unworthy of being trophies. Although you would be a perfect woman in my society. I beg your pardon, what? Yeah. I like a woman who can kick my ass. I mean, I have multiple. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm kind of polygamous. I see. Well, I cannot deny you do look good. Thank you. Now, uh, I'll follow you back. But, uh, and then that, uh, this cloaking device. I'll be invisible. And I'll follow you in. Okay. Just don't get lost. I won't. I already have your heat signature state on the mask. Okay. Let's go. And your phone then, just starts ringing? No. That would just be me tapping my head. Oh, like, I literally call you on the phone. Oh. In the fucking story? Yeah. Yeah, you you would be able to call. And now just... So the phone like, just starts ringing. What the... Hold up, my son's calling. Yeah. Hey, son, what's going on? I uh, just had a three... I had a four-way just now. Shadow, female Deco, and female Baku girl. And I have three girlfriends. Damn. You really do take after me. Okay. Let's just say uh, Deku and Bakugo are no longer virgins, and me and Shade were never, me and Shadow were never really virgins from the beginning. So I see, you really do take after your old man. What do you think? Those noises were those noises were last night for me and Shadow's room. Just make sure they can walk tomorrow for tomorrow. I don't but know. It, but... I don't know about you, but carrying around three women is kind of hard. I can At make them age. fly. Okay, good. Just make sure that make sure that the other two girls get home safe. Also, ignore the caller on Bakugo. Just ignore it. <laughs> okay. Take care, son. Adios. I just hang up. Oh, yeah, uh, you might also have another mother and a new baby sister. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> well, well, uh... They're both being used by some prick named Overhaul. Oh, yeah, madam. He tried to rip my arm off. Oh, Let's I'm gonna make his death extra a... painful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, tell, no longer has a pulse. Tell Shade and Esdeath to come on down. I'm pretty sure they're going to enjoy this. I don't worry about that. That guy no longer has fingerprints. Or fingers. Okay. Uh, I'm going to call your other two mothers to help out with this son of a... This yeah, he has evil a, man. Uh, okay. Uh... We're going to torture him later. Want to join? I already did. Alright. See you later. His hand on the Then uh, just hang up. After saying see you later. Uh, 
let's just say uh, overhaul the the he, he did not physically he yet it, mentally he's dead he watched all of his men get ripped and torn by yours truly <laughs> Uh, oh, other than Rafa, she dead ass waited outside. Well, yeah. I just tore through all of them. Like a- after I was done, like I knocked out Overhaul and uh, hung the corpses of all of his men upside down and flayed throughout the man throughout the place. And I'd be carrying an unconscious overhaul out. I was like, oh, don't worry. You'll be uh, getting uh, a certain treatment from my wives. And the way it was said got the message across that, yeah, no. There is no rest for the wicked, and Overhaul would not be able to sleep until he was dead. <laughs> like, Overhaul was, like, yeah. half awake, because fuck it. He's, like, half awake at this point in time. I just look at him just like, I'm going to make sure you know never to touch a child again. And he would have shivers down his spine and collapse. Unconscious. Yeah. And he also has no arms anymore. Not like yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I got, he got his arms cut off in the most painful manner so possible. Is the overhaul was done? Yes. Like, I just looked at him and was like, hey kid, want to be an amputee? What? His bones went Nestle Crunch. <laughs> Essentially. <laughs> I was like, hey, what? I kicked down the door. I was like, hey, over home, want to become a Nestle Crunch bar? What? That's what I love. Nestle Crunch. <laughs> Nestle Crunch. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, for like half an hour. <laughs> like that could be heard throughout the whole base. <laughs> like as soon as the screaming could be did to be heard, Rapa just covered Aries' ears. It's like Mama, what was that noise? Don't worry about it, dear. <laughs> Rafa was just like Jesus Christ, how hard did he kick this man? There is no way that's from a punch. I just pat I just pat Aries' head. Like you just appeared out of nowhere just patting Aries' head. Along with you are fly. as along with you are as death and shade. And they're just like, We'll be right back, dear. We're just gonna go have a nice little chat with this old with this stupid man. I'm just patting Aries' head. Hello, I'm your big brother. I'm like, hello, I'm your big brother now. I what am your big brother, brother now. They would just look up and just like, what's a brother? You Shaden. will find out. Shaden as death would I'm stop mid- like, like, Shaden as death would just stop half step, just like, foot in the air and everything. It's like, Oh, we're going to have a nice little chat with him. I just, he I won't just, be able um, to talk just, afterwards. By the way, I just take Ari home and I just walk in like, Hey, can I join in on this? Like, no, we don't want Ari alone at this point in time. Rapa goes yeah, with Ari. Uh, Rapa goes with Ari. Yeah. 
I just look at Overhaul like, hey, bro, we got a whole world to see. I just yeet him out the window. I just made men say a whole new world. <laughs> it's basically like, hey, man, we got all this open space. Come on. Let's have a nice little fight. It's basically Sukuna versus Megumi. <laughs> he proceeds to get his ass beat by a flying kid. Like, come on, man. We got all this open. Come on, man. Look at all this open space. <laughs> just back. Just gives him the backhand of the century. <laughs> it's basically... And then it just... It just... And then it just devolves into... What would happen if Madara was weak against the Shinobi Alliance? It's basically just that. <laughs> it's just a whole ass fucking jump. <laughs> like, every bone in his body was broken. And then I strike his head with lightning. That's what's trying <laughs> to kill me, bitch. <laughs> and then I would just stop mid-fight and just like, this, this jumping was brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. What the fuck? <laughs> the hell? Are we actually sponsored? <laughs> no, we're not sponsored, unfortunately. We are getting. Wish we were. Hey, Raid, hit me up. Come on. <laughs> I know you want to. <laughs> anyway. I don't uh, think anyone wants to be sponsored by Raid. Damn. Well, I don't really have a, I don't really have Raid Shadow Legends. Hey, yo, War Robots, where you one. at? Hit me up. I, I actually gonna download uh either War Robot, War Robots, or World of Tanks. Because of one word. Yes. No, two words. Russian Badger. Yes. Now, uh, to uh. Make this a bit more interesting. After Overhaul got his ass fucking jumped throughout the entirety of the Shie Hasaikai compound, Ryukyu showed up. I'm just like, come on. Gotta deal with this noise complaint and we'll be fine. It would be at this moment where Overhaul would just erupt from the floor. <laughs> like, half dead. Like, three, he's near dead. Like, his eyes are blank. He's just sprawled out. He like got struck by a lightning in the face. It basically looks like this man got punched in the face so hard that all of his teeth fell out. Which they did. His nose was broken. He had slash. He had a slash across his face, moreover across his eyes. He was fucking blind. And his face is burnt off. His all of his uh, ligaments are broken. Like he's basically just a soul in a husk of a body. Uh, I just look at Ryuki like. And that now because I fuck it. and because fuck it, she knew about what Overhaul had done. It was like. Oh shit. Seems someone beat me to it. And then we'd all just jump out the hole. It was like, heh. So, wait, what the fuck? Why is a hero here? I don't know. Uh, hey, wanna join I'm us? I'm a teacher, why you Like, I would just look over at it, it's like, hey, dragon lady, wanna join us? Don't mind if I, I do. Like it's just like, I just look over your kill. And then she would just give a devilish smile and was like, no, mind if I do. <laughs> I just like you kill like, and because, oh, you sure you're And then, because we had, because we had yet to give him a sex change, guess who gets the honors of giving Overhaul a sex change? <laughs> Ryukyu. Yeah. Ryukyu gets the honors of giving him a sex change. She coated her body in the scales that in scales because fuck you, her dragon form is Smaug. 
and then she kicks him so hard in the nuts that his genitals invert. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. <laughs> Oh my god. This is crazy. I forgot to mention that a certain scene from Family Feud is also going to be in here. But we ain't there yet. Where's your grandma? <laughs> Nigga, huh? <laughs> I said the toys out while we no, were in your no, work. Well, no, no. Yeah, no, that's what's going to happen in, on the first day. <laughs> Okay, now that we're done with how <laughs> Ahab meets Ryukyu and, o and fucking Rapa, let's come back to the future. The first uh, day of your way. Just to see, uh, my area that I was in the entrance exam is gone. Let's cut back to the future where uh, Denzel is about to go into UA. Yeah. We yeah, skip the, the area ten months of the training. Exam, yeah, like we like entered the exam. I made sure my area was completely gone. Nothing yes. is there. Everything is gone. Yes. as if the earth split. Yes, and because and because uh, Toru is gonna be disappearing for this episode. She will be in one B, just not in one A. A certain, another certain, another certain purple-haired individual will be in one A. As well as the grape. Shinso? Yes. Oh, I thought you were going to say Shadow. No. Shinzo. Okay. Who I'm making Eraserhead's biological daughter with Midnight. Honestly, that makes sense. And. He's dating Kamina. Shinzo. Has a thing for Tokoyami. Tokoyami does not. Tokoyami does not have the bird head. He has a more human-like face. Okay, that's the revelry in the dark. Yes. So, um, want to know how I enter the classroom? What? I kicked the fucking door down. How the fuck would you do that? That shit's fucking eight feet high. That shit is made to yeah. let all of my yeah. in there. <laughs> yes. Wait, now that, yes. Wait, now that I think about it, female predators are usually around eight to nine feet tall. On average. Let's not talk about that. There will be a point in time where Shade and Shad, where the whole family just fucking pops up. I was like, hey, son, how you doing? How the fuck is this? Like, they're about to walk in the door. And it's like, wow, they actually made a door to accommodate for us. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> his death and Rothel and Yuki would just be like I hate that you're tall <laughs> <laughs> the, the two would just look the three would just look down just like but you also love it the, two, the three would just blush fuck you wait I have a better introduction I have a better introduction, like how I like how I introduce myself to the students. Do like they're tell. just looking for me to see what I'm doing, and they open outside. And I'm just standing, they're like I'm literally Gojo, just flying, like floating over the school, just watching down on all of them. Yes. And then to start off the class before they even go to the. Oh, ball throwing shit. Eraser head would call up in Denzel. And Shinzo, fuck it. 
top seven answers on the board. Name one thing a, a name one thing a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Raise my Denzel. hand. Denzel. Denzel. Like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the whole class just starts laughing. This good shit would just be like, I wouldn't want to see that either. That second that? most favorite, second highest option. Woo! Who said that? Who said that? Shinzo would just be like, I wouldn't want to see that either. And it just second and it answer. Just... <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you're right. What are the chances? What are the chances? I'll be able to get to a house and end up like a grandmama naked. <laughs> like a grandmama on the on the blanket outside in the in the forest on the on the blanket. <sighs> naked grandma, ding, woo, grandma, yeah. Like, you just flip the desk. <laughs> it's, yes. This will also be incorporated in another uh, certain what if that's coming soon. My uh, texting story. That you will Mina enjoy. Just fell in love. Or that moment, Mina just fell in love with this guy. <laughs> that moment, Mina was just like, this man is a crackhead and I love him. I'm pulling out. Because I, cause, cause I feel like Amina, because I feel like Amina would be the type. She would just be like, I'm still going to drain his balls when I get into a relationship with him. I'm pulling out for his bitch. You can join me. <laughs> but little did she know, this family got, Ill, got followed by lips here. Unlimited stamina. Now, Even for a human. This man's got this man's unlimited. Yeah. Now this has been going on for an hour. Fuck it, I'm gonna call it here. Hope y'all liked the video. Uh, I'll see you guys okay. whenever I see you guys. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe. The subscribing is free. Is it costs zero dollars and zero cents. Uh. Thank you for letting me borrow your eyes for for like an hour, two minutes, Four years. however many seconds. Four years if you're listening to this as if it's ASMR. See you later. Goodbye.